to the mainland and would be pleased to give you both a ride. So, thanks a heap, kids. See you later, alligator. On your feet. I'm gonna take a little walk. Bell's Floral Wonderland? Come on, give me a hand. There was no doubt about it. This obscure little island was no tourist haven. It was being used as a Soviet nuclear missile base right on America's doorstep. Hey, if that doesn't get me the Pulitzer Prize, nothing will. Come on, sleep. Let's move it. It's now two weeks since British forces recaptured Santa Maya, liberating its population of 750 from Maguadoran rule. And with 48,000 troops now permanently based in the country to guard against future attack, General Mascara appears finally to have abandoned his designs on this tiny Central American territory. You are sure you can secure for us the... Uh services of this man, Lacrobat, Mr. Nebuchadnezzar. Harrison Hindenburg Nebuchadnezzar, personal management of the world's leading international terrorists. Yes. My client, uh, Mr. Lacrobat, has uh, many prior commitments at the moment. Uh, however, you tell me what you are proposing, and I'll tell you whether or not he's available. Uh, we need his help to get the British out of Santa Maya quickly before our people turn against us. Yeah, I, I see. You uh, realize, of course, that Mr. Lacrobat's fees are not inconsiderable. The money is no object. We would sell our grandmothers for such a man. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we have a deal. With this lacrobat's help, Santa Maya will once again be ours.
Yes, what do you want? Well, come on, identify yourself. Right. Oh, oh God! Hi there. Looking for me? Listen, you don't recognize America's greatest illusionist? Johnny Brainiac, master of magic. Hmm? The man who made Hollywood Boulevard vanish beneath a silk handkerchief. The man who once made the Senate Foreign Relations Committee appear inside a tuna fish salad. See, I'm here to baffle and bewilder your countrymen with a small performance from my repertoire. Now, if you will excuse me, I've got to go through and set up for my ad. I can't let you do that, sir. Otherwise, well, what are we here? My letter of accreditation. We'll have to take a look in the truck first. Okay. okay. When I when snap, I snap my, fingers, my fingers, you will become a chicken. A loud, squawking chicken. You will be in a real panic. The whole place will be on fire for you. Smoke everywhere. You will suddenly become very sexy. You will do a strip piece. You will be sensational. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Ah. It's on for cut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick, I shall require the assistance of a member of the royal family. <laughs> a princess, perhaps. Come along, Mom. I hope you. Now we have a lovely princess. We must have a palace. The princess will join me inside. One, two. Stop! Stop it! That man's no magician. Three. Oh my God. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty, I shall leave no stone unturned. I'm discharging myself now and assuming complete control. Whoever is guilty of this heinous atrocity will pay dearly. You may depend on that. Since at the time of the kidnapping, I was personally indisposed in hospital, my two cabinet colleagues, Mr. Sumter and Mr. Lippmann, were technically responsible for the safety and security of the princess. Mr. Sumter and Mr. Lippmann are honorable men, and within the last 24 hours, they've each submitted to me a written request to be publicly crucified. And with great regret, I've had to accept their requests. Thank you. An estimated crowd of 100,000 witnessed the event and throughout the day, all national TV programs were blacked out and replaced with somber music. Well, I guess we just sit tight now and pray he doesn't do anything rash. The man just held a public crucifixion at Wembley Stadium. Well, he certainly has moved to the right politically. So, yeah. Mascara hired Lacrobat to kidnap Wendy. Uh, but why? What? And what happens next? <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. What? Uh, there's a special message for you. Yes, well, 
Well, uh, <laughs> it's in the form of a Rambogram, madam. Excuse me? <clears throat> Send him in. For you, a message here from Mr. Lacrobat. He has sent an ultimatum just to tell you where it's at. If the British don't pull out the troops in 84 hours flat, Princess Wendy will be killed. Marv, get on the phone right Princess now. Princess Wendy will be killed, yeah. Her head with lead, it will be filled, yeah. Her royal blood, it will be spilled. If the Brits don't shift their ass. 84 hours, that's what. Saturday, midnight. Marv, tear the Caribbean apart. Drag the North Atlantic if you have to, but find her. will enjoy a thrilling adventure to excite the further fantasy in your mind. Come on, move along. Come on, come on, move along. Come on, move along there. Come on. Thank you. That's it. Come on, come on. Move, move it on. Come on. Come on, Sheriff. Couldn't you prevail upon them to stay for just a moment? I still have three more boxes of whistling condoms to dispense. Just what the shit you messing at with this fancy wagon, boy? We got a respectable town here, and I ain't. Whistling condoms? That's correct, sir. Dr. Hans Yanker's whistling condoms are the very first contraceptive to play a tune upon ejaculation. They come in seven different melodies, and so can you. With Pedro the Fisherman, Saber Dance, we've got Sparky's Magic. Right, no, we right, have Big right, Rock Candy. All right, all right. Now, just who in the hell are you, anyhow? February's the name, sir. Roderick Jesus February. Mobile suppliers of sexual requisites in the state of Florida for eight decades. Ah, most discerning choice, sir. The blow-up sheep. Blow-up what? It's a brand new addition to our wide range of inflatables. Especially designed for the farming community. The deluxe model has three holes, which makes it ideal for parties. And, of course, if you wish to hear a climax... Give me your hand. Ah, so that's where your tastes lie, huh? Now, 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 you should have specified. You see, we are the nation's foremost supplier of top-quality bondage accoutrements. As you can see, my beautiful assistant, Wendy, is wearing the latest in our corporal restraint collection. Note how the twin-tied Indian hemp with triple-bonded padlocks and 